as Xcode loads up, you're presented with your splash screen. You can choose create new project or you can go to file new project. From there, we're going to build a project for iOS and we're going to choose app and select next. Uh, we're going to create Space Invaders, which will be our game for this uh, playlist. Uh, so then that will append the name of my project onto my organization identifier. So this is normally just your name as a URL in reverse. That's an easy way to sort of do it. The interface we're going to be building is SwiftUI, not storyboards. And we're going to use Swift, uh, Swift as the language, of course, not Objective-C. We're not going to do anything with core data or included tests, so we'll just keep these projects pretty simple. Select Next, and I'll put this onto my desktop. So a very quick little overview of uh, Xcode here. So first thing I need to do is make sure that I select the device that I want to build and test on, uh, which is that one there. On the left hand column, which I can hide and close using this icon, I have my project directory. On the right hand side I have a similar icon, so if I need a little bit more space I can display it here. So my code will appear on this left uh, side and the right hand side is where we'll have our live preview. Okay. Uh, sometimes we do need to build our projects in order to do that. Again, make sure our device is selected and then press that build button and it will launch up your simulator. I can go straight into building this sprite kit uh, view, the game scene, so I can present it. Uh, so the first thing I need to do, I've got my content view, which is set up by default, but I'm going to create a new file. So file, new file, I select a Swift file, I select next. And this one will be called my game scene. Uh, previously, when we were doing UI kit, uh, it used to actually um, set up a default template for us, which made it a little bit easier, but this isn't too difficult. And once you have a template that you can start to, to use, it will make it very easy for your future projects. So, of course, I'm going to import Sprite Kit, that is the library which we use to create these beautiful 2D games. Uh, from there, I'm going to uh, create my game scene. So my class will be called game scene of type SK scene and my default method, my main method will be override. Actually if I just type did move and then press enter it'll enter and complete the whole thing for me um, and from here I'm not going to do anything I'm just going to um, a print statement just so we have something game load okay and that's all we're going to do in here initially of course this is where we're going to build up our games but what I want to do is to present this game scene that we just created inside my Swift UI view so that's the next thing that we're going to do so I need to define a height and a width for our game so I'm going to use the uh, geometric bounds that are uh, placed on the device so that my screen width equal UI screen dot main dot bounds dot width oops width and I'm going to do the same for the height height okay so now I have my height and my width I'm then going to define a scene you can see that our game seam appeared there as I started to type because I already defined it, so it was able to find it within my project. If you can't find it, sometimes building the project does help and allows you to find that, that uh, class that you created previously. Okay, then I'm going to define the scene size, and then we can use the height and the width that we'd created previously. Oh, screen height. Okay, we can set the scale mode, the background color, and you can also experiment a little bit more. If you want to uh, look at more of the properties, obviously just type scene and the, the full stop of the period, and then you can look down at what else is available. And then after that, we need to return that scene. So we've now created this instance that we can utilize across the rest of our project, uh, which we are now going to do. So inside of our view, <coughs> we're going to uh, create a vStack. And inside that vStack, we'll then call our sprite view 
Okay, the sprite view won't appear unless you have imported sprite kit, so make sure you, that you do that. From there, I can find my scene and I want to present the scene that I just created here. So if this was called my scene, then of course this here would be called my scene as well. Okay, so just so you don't get confused between the parameter name and what you're actually putting through or passing through into that function. Then we have some pop properties for this, uh, this view. We have the frame width, and again, we'll use the screen width and the height. You could use a uh, geometry reader here if you're familiar with that. Uh, that would work perfectly fine as well. And we're also going to ignore all the safe areas so that they all present. So at the moment, this isn't going to look uh, too spectacular. All we're going to do, obviously, is remove this hello text and it's going to present our scene. Okay, so there's nothing really happening yet. But stay tuned because over the rest of this playlist across this course, uh, we're going to learn to make Space Invaders and there'll be follow-up courses teaching you all different games, platform games, scrolling games, and of course, grid-based games.